little more than ten years ago, an incredible explosion took place in the sky near Shalabinsk, Russia. It was the morning of February the 15th, 2013, when a meteor measuring 65 feet and weighing 10,000 metric tons slammed into the Earth's atmosphere, traveling at hypersonic velocity. The force of the Earth's atmosphere flattened the meteor, leaving behind a thick trail of vaporized rock rising 25 miles above the surface. As it began to disintegrate, it crumbled into smaller pieces, each one traveling at a dozen times the speed of a bullet. These fragments also flattened, creating powerful flashes of light before heating and finally vaporizing. It all happened in mere seconds, as the fireball outshone the morning sun, emitting energy equivalent to half a million metric tons of TNT. The shockwave from the explosion traveled away from the blast, taking only a minute and 30 seconds to reach Shalabinsk, located about 25 miles to the north of the blast. The incredible spectacle, accompanied by its long and lingering vapor trail, immediately caught the attention of residents. This is when the shockwave reached the city. In a moment, you will hear the thunderous blast and reverberation along with the shattering of windows, which resulted in numerous injuries. Although the meteor impact of 2013 is still being discussed across the world, it could have been much worse. If the meteor had been a bit larger than 65 feet, or had plunged towards the Earth at a steeper angle than is shown here, the aftermath would have been far more severe. The 2013 event was the largest known atmospheric impact since Tunguska back in 1908. And although a major catastrophe was narrowly avoided in Russia, meteorites were seen raining down upon the countryside, including a large chunk that plunged into a frozen lake, creating a 20-foot gap. The meteorite measuring 5 feet was recovered by divers on October the 16th, eight months post-impact. The ghostly remnants of a deep space impact extended out and affected the lives of thousands of Russian citizens that day. Just days after the event, the meteor debris created by the blast was seen circumventing the globe, returning to the point of entry. The Shalyabinsk event was certainly a wake-up call and one that shook the world. But this is not the only one in recent times. In fact, events of this size or similar happen every 25 years or so, according to NASA. But even now, they appear to be happening more frequently and in a much shorter time frame. In December of 2018, some five years after Shelyabinsk, an exceptionally bright meteor exploded about 16 miles above the Bering Sea. The blast unleashed an estimated 173 kilotons of energy. A few minutes after the event, satellite images picked up the burning meteor and its trail through the atmosphere, which was cast over the cloud's tops. The orange-tinted cloud that the fireball left behind was caused by the superheating of the air that it passed through. 
the Bering Sea event was the most powerful meteor observation since the 2013 Shelyabinsk blast. Fortunately, it happened over the sea and it posed no threat. Two years later, in December of 2020, a spectacular explosion took place over China's Yushu city. The event, which lasted some 20 seconds, was the largest fireball event since the Bering Sea blast in 2018, and it was also the world's 15th largest on record. For China, it was the largest event since the year 1988. Similar to the Shelyabinsk event, this flying object fragmented into many pieces, casting meteorites to the ground. The meteor, which illuminated the night sky, was also spotted by passengers traveling on a plane. In February of 2021, a burning ball of space rock lit up the sky above the UK like a giant firework. The brilliant meteor was visible across England, Scotland, and Northern Europe. Scientists from the UK Fireball Alliance indicated that the object was likely a part of an asteroid traveling between Mars and Jupiter that fell to Earth at 30,000 miles per hour. Similar to both the Shelyabinsk and the Yushu City events, this object fragmented, sending meteorites to the ground some of which were discovered in England on March the 9th, days after the event. It is also noteworthy to report that at the time of this occurrence, it was the most reported meteor event in UK history. On New Year's Day 2022, a tremendous meteor blast shook the city of Pittsburgh, creating an energy equivalent of 30 tons of TNT. The meteor, which was traveling at 45,000 miles per hour when it entered the atmosphere, created a sonic boom, which was registered from a nearby infrasound station. The explosion, which was captured by the GOES-16 satellite, took place on a cloudy and rainy day and would have been easily visible in the daytime sky, about 100 times the brightness of the full moon. A security camera in southwest Pennsylvania managed to pick up the earth-shattering booming sound in the rain. In May of this year, the Queensland sky lit up when a rare green meteor blazed across northeast Australia before coming to earth with a tremendous boom shaking a nearby town. Footage captured near the Gulf of Carpentaria show the sky lighting up green and then yellow as the meteor approached. Residents in the town of Croydon felt the explosion and heard a loud boom as the meteor was likely traveling at up to 93,000 miles per hour. Due to their tremendous velocity, Intense meteor explosions, such as the one over Queensland, are capable of creating a crater upon impact. Even more worrisome is the sonic boom, which is indicative of a mid-air detonation. If the blast takes place over a populated area, it can cause considerable damage, especially if the meteor is between 32 and 65 feet in length. Satellite data indicated that the Queensland meteor was the largest over Australia in 30 years. And judging from the whiteout on this camera capture, it must have been an amazing event. Stay safe, everyone, and thanks for watching.